Hi, it's Mama Rose and I have been sick and I'll talk about that later. But for now, I'm all hands washed and everything and I'm going to make some meatballs. And what I did for this, and the reason I'm making the meatballs is because I made this wonderful beef stew yesterday. And uh, it doesn't have vegetables in it. I just put an onion in it for flavor and a little bit of celery. You can't even see it. it it, I, I um, cooked it in the uh, pressure cooker in the Instapot for um, an hour and it did a really good job. Anyway, um, so I have all this gravy here so I want to go ahead and use it for something and I do like something like a Swedish meatball but Italian style. So what I did is I got a pound of ground beef. Let me shut that off. I got a pound of ground beef, and as I talk, I'm going to do, so get this done, Put, roll up my sleeves here, take off my ring, <clears throat> and so what I have in here is an egg, I have some, I don't use breadcrumbs, so I need something to soak up the moisture from, I'm going to lower this a little bit here, it's way up high. So, and I have to say that even, oh, I always do that, that even if I don't do dairy, you know, I'm do, I have to do, I'm a Parmesan cheese nut, and I have my own Parmesan cheese ready to be opened that I made myself last year. I just have this left, and I want to have a bunch opened, and my daughter got me this when she worked at Olive Garden years and years and years ago, and so I always grate my own cheese. So I got that in there. That, I put a lot of that. That's like my breadcrumbs. So to a pound, I probably put a good half a cup of Parmesan cheese in there. The drier, the better. But I mean, I grate it fresh. And then the parsley. And then it's just some powdered um, or dried, um, granulated, powdered, whatever. I like granulated onion and granulated garlic. I don't have any garlic because we don't eat all that anymore. I don't have all that on hand. Although, I, I think I'll get some, just it's a good idea to have on hand. So you don't want to overdo this like anything else. And, and you'll notice it's really, and this is 1530. This is the, the ground beef that I get from Butcher Box. And that's all there is to it. And then I'm just going to roll up and make some meatballs. Now, of course, before I make it, I want to go ahead and taste it and make sure I got the salt right in here. So, and that's all you want to do. Taste a little piece of it. See if you got the right amount of salt. And you can't tell unless you taste it. And you don't want to eat raw meat to do that. So, anyway, I am over and out. I just wanted to go ahead and show you. I'm going to mix that up. And then later, I'm going to go ahead and fry it in a pan. Just a little meatballs. Put a little brown on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my put it in my sauce. Once we're done with that beef, I'll take the beef out. And that was tri-tips that I got from uh, the El Bell Ranch. And boy, were they good. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.